it is a magnet. We'll see just how far up I can actually do this to a, you can see the effect. So it's got, even from that high up, uh, it's got a uh, good grip, but you can see where it's already affecting it from here. Uh, the field is pretty strong. So this is not a weak magnet. Test right now. So I am recording ohm, working on the camera there. So this is to make sure that it is running and recording to the actual drive. As you can see, there we go. And it's working fine. <laughs> what I'm doing uh, may seem uh, crazy. So I wanted to find something out. So I went and did a lot of searching on YouTube. There's one guy that I really enjoyed watching. And I think you just might enjoy watching it as well because he does things <laughs> with magnets and his computer <laughs> that, that are just very entertaining, very dry humor type thing um, to the point and all that. Uh, I'll put a link, actually a link in this description below because I think his, his YouTube channel is, is pretty enjoyable and informative. However, in all my searching, what I wanted to do was find out, uh, because I had mentioned in one of my earlier um, videos about how I always had a concern about somebody using magnets to attach their flash drive to their um, uh, Blackmagic pocket camera and that there was always a concern about the magnets and the drive themselves. Well, it turns out uh, that was unfounded because uh, in a lot of my testing and a lot of my research, I have found out that magnets don't have a problem as far as erasing what's on a flash drive because it's not magnetic, it's an electrical charge that uh, sets the data in place. This is a, a pretty <laughs> strong magnet and uh, this is a flash drive and I have put this on here and I've, I've, I've played with this before. It didn't uh, damage the data in any way. I was able to uh, play with it, record it and so forth uh, onto the Blackmagic um, pocket cinema camera 4k here it's it's an old drive that i had and that's the, <laughs> the only reason i'm using this particular one is because it's old and the material i've got on here is already saved on other drives so i don't have to worry about it this is just a el cheapo case uh that i got um geez maybe 10 years ago uh but it works well enough for um playing here and hooking up to as an external drive to my Blackmagic Pocket. In my experience, running the camera at the same time or, or turning this on and then adding the drive to it is not a problem. Uh, it doesn't destroy the data in my experience. And what it does is it recognizes the blue indicator here. It recognizes the drive as soon as you plug it in. So um, that works well. The thing that I have found that was not done, and I'm testing it for the first time here today, is running this over it and, and near the actual access port, the cable itself, while it's recording to see if it actually disturbs any of the recording going in. Nobody's done that, that I have found on the internet. So I'm doing that here today for your pleasure. <laughs> I'm not going to put the magnet anywhere near this, just in case you have some thrilling idea that I'm going to do that. <laughs> I love this camera too much. There's no way. It took me four months to get the thing. There's no way I'm going to do anything that's going to potentially harm that. But this is an old, this is an old drive. I, I, I don't have um, any longing feelings for that. And this nice magnet will do the job, I think, if there's anything to be done as far as messing with the transmission of data while trying to record data to the drive, which would be more of a test in what people are doing anyway. So if you've got uh, a magnetic case that you're clicking your drive on there, uh, does, uh, do magnets themselves harm uh, any of the recording uh, from the device? That's what we're gonna find out today. I'm going to record uh, Om here, working on filming me. Yeah, I was going to zoom in a little bit there or focus in and we have this uh, spitting to the drive so you can see that it is 
recording to the drive and we are going to now run the magnet over it and I don't expect anything to be shown here but I expect it to be shown later. Um, ooh, I do have, <laughs> there, there is something magnetic in there and I think it's just the cable connector itself so we're running that across that, why not? And seems fine. Okay, so just so you can see, let me run this again. We're recording. We've got that going and <laughs> get my body out of the way. Running the magnet across. I do have it set so that if there's any interruption in the data frame rate that it shuts off the recording. Um, so, and so far it's still recording. So, and this is a pretty big magnet, so uh, it is still going. This is over a flash drive, like I said, and I will pause that. All of the data was saved. So in my testing, <laughs> to sum it up, my testing was that you can put magnets on here, especially the ones that are small enough to hold you in your case onto the device. And it doesn't, for one, doesn't mess with the data that's already on there. You can play it back and it's, it's fine, but it also doesn't affect it while it's recording. And that was, the, that was the concern that I had. And I hope that answers any of your questions uh, regarding uh, that as well. Because that was always a concern. It's like, well, yeah, you can play stuff on it. That's fine, but it's a different process than the actual recording too. Uh, and does the magnetic field affect that? And in my case with the Kingston Drive um, flash drive on here, USB-C connector to standard um, USB connector, Blackmagic uh, Pocket Cinema 4K, it did not uh, affect the data on the drive, nor the writing or reading to the drive. Yeah, if any of you have been curious about that and tried uh, you know, to discover that on your own, I hope uh, this helped you uh, because it was an itch that I had. I'm happy, I'm content on that. I'm still not gonna bring magnets near this, this bugger, so, <laughs> but it's not a problem bringing it toward your your flash drives in my testing, okay? That's the, that's the under asterisk right here. In my testing that I've worked on this, and if you look on other people's uh, YouTube channels, you'll see that they've done uh, a lot of terrible things with massive magnets. Like I said, the guy <laughs> that I put in the description below, he's got this gigantic magnet that picks up his laptop, but he only is playing something. He's only uh, reading from an optical drive. He's not actually writing to it. Uh, or to an SSD. So I wrote to it and that satisfied my curiosity and I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please thumbs up and subscribe. I've got a lot more stuff coming. I've been doing a lot of testing, a lot of color grading, a lot of uh, work with uh, setting up location shooting and things like that. So that has occupied a lot of the time that makes it so I can't put stuff out. So now I'm getting a little break in here uh, we'll be shooting again the next couple of scenes for that short film uh, since we have now secured what we think is a good location for it and one of our main actors for it as well. Uh, so that'll be coming up as well. So you'll be seeing a lot more to this channel. Thank you for hanging in there and I will get to your questions. A lot of you have uh, some good questions. I'll get to them. Please be patient. Thank you. Just to reiterate, solid state drive. This is not a spinning hard drive. <laughs> you do not do, <laughs> you do not run a magnet near a spinning hard drive. I've done that in the past and I've torn them apart. I've done a lot of things in the past uh, with electronics, uh, but you don't do that because your data will be wiped out, uh, including just the functioning of the drive.